Hi there. Okay, so in the wonderful world of the continuing search to figure out what Amiga treasures. That you, Sheldon? I have. I have another machine to check out. I do. The one here is quite wonderful. I'm just not sure where to put it at this moment. And how I can put it somewhere safely. Okay. That seems... Okay. So this machine, I really, I know where I got it, I know when I got it, I know I fired it up once, but I've never looked inside, I have no idea what's in there, and from what I remember, it was something to do with a bulletin board that probably ran um, somewhere West of Toronto. Oh dear. It's getting something here. I think I don't like having that magical Amiga there. Alright. More lights. Oh, I'm sure I don't. Is that you, Sheldon? Maybe. This could just sit up there for the moment. Sheldon? Sheldon is a cat. He appeared not long ago. Okay, so. Here we have, it says it's an Amiga 2000 HD. I've never looked inside. I have no clue what's in there. It has two floppies. And it is sounding like it's coming alive. The power light is on, the hard drive light is flashing, I hear things, but I don't see anything on the screen yet. I do not. But I see the hard drive light flashing. This also seems to have some sort of CD ROM something drive in there. It also has some yellowing issues on the front. Okay. Alright, it just tried to read from drive zero. I'm assuming now that maybe something will happen. Or sorry, not drive zero. DF zero. Drive a floppy zero. Okay. Aha! So this Amiga comes up and says... The Trading Post BBS. And give a phone number. And it comes up in... In like high res, dark, gray stuff. And I better get the mouse in here. Because... It's telling me that CDO is already mounted. Oh, good. So. Okay, so... This looks like... Maybe... Well, maybe I can find out. Hello. I'm out. So this is Kickstart version 37.175, Workbench version 38.35. It is. So I have no idea 
what's in here exactly, whether it's software or hardware wise. But this, what is this thing? Oh, I think that might be the CD. So according to this, I guess it has about a, a megabyte of graphics RAM and three and a half of other CD player, jukebox version. Oh, maybe you can put a CD in there. Well, wow. okay, I guess it's supposed to be able to put a CD in. Imagine that. There is not. Well, I don't think there's one in there. I don't know. No disc, yes, it has no disc. Cool. Now, how do I make it go away? Maybe it's still loading. A dummy player. Error, error. No CD wrong. Okay. Well, I was just hoping to try and actually just open it and then close it. Okay, there's closed. So there's other things. Boy, that. It's a shaky display here. What is this? Hard drive, I think it says. So, um, it's a hard drive, all right, yes sir. Uh, work. So I'm assuming this has some kind of bulletin board software on it, because it comes up and says it is. You know what, I really, I guess I gotta try and find an Amiga monitor, because boy, this stuff is flickering an awful lot. But, mostly I'm pleased. Is there a nice, I forget, is there a nice way to... Quit. No. Cannot quit open count. This, supposedly, I think, um, was something to do with a bulletin board, and it seems pretty modern, but I have no clue what's inside. So, let's have a look. It is all buttoned up. What happened was, I saw an ad on Hobby Kijiji, and there was a fellow who had lots and lots and lots of stuff. And it sounded like... Oh, no. oh well, another screw down. Um, it sounded like he had maybe a storage unit or something. So, and he wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff, and actually I remember I was supposed to go down there, but then it was winter, it said there was going to be a blizzard, and I said, well, I can't come during a blizzard, and it was not close, it was like a great lake or so over, so anyway, he appeared, I guess, ahead of the storm. And brought everything. Oh. And have I really gone through everything? No, nope, not really. Including, of course, this Amiga, which 
for sure is a 2000 of some description. Now, was it used to run a bulletin board? I don't know. But it was somehow part of it. I suspect it somewhere in here is maybe the bulletin board thing. Or maybe it's been deleted. It just comes, the screen just still comes up. I don't know. Okay. So, I believe the screws are out. Which means we can see. something loose in here. Oh, there's a wood screw. Cool. Alright, so let's just tip it down. Let's see what we see. Ooh. Well, at first inspection, we have an accelerator card. Which I guess probably makes this more like a 2500. And we have what looks like a 2091 hard drive controller, which indeed has a hard drive on it. So, and it, it does appear, perhaps. That the expansion, oh sorry, expansion, that the accelerator has considerable RAM on it, and so does the hard drive controller. So, which I think maybe. I think that adds up. Let's just, we got no disc in there. Let's just fire this up again. And as I recall, it will take a while. But who knows, maybe for the first, oh, the other thing I really want to look at is, which I cannot see. Is, is the battery still in there? I would like to think that if this was a machine that somebody cared about, and they obviously did, because I think it's been upgraded tremendously. Certainly it's a lot later version of Workbench and other things that I have seen, that they would have realized that the battery needs to be gone. Well, I guess I'm going to have to undo the accelerator card. And you remember I was looking at the accelerator card and I said, I don't remember seeing those ribbon cable things on there. Well, this one has those same things. No clue what they're for. There's two of them. They're mighty big. So, to Trading Post BBS, 519-974-2976. That is the screen that comes up on the machine. And then it goes off. Okay. Oh, wait, it's fast. Mount failure. Eight. I, oh, I don't know why it cares that something is already mounted. It could just leave me be. Okay. Reset workbench. Okay, well, this machine, as I say, it look, well, it's funny. Well, I know that, you know what, there's lots of things that use up RAM. So, I'm thinking that it has...
like six or seven, but it isn't really showing that up. But, you know, who knows? Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. I want to see if the floppy drives work. That sounds gross. It is um, grinding. I'm going to stick another disc in this other one. See what it does. Well, they are grinding. And one of them has come up. So it drives zero. Did not seem to come up. Well, just one thing to do. Take that just out of there. And swap them. They are noisy, these drives. That's just drive, sorry, DS1, I think, as it is trying to read this disk. And it seems to have read it. Now the other thing of course is, maybe it got confused because I think what I was putting in were both workbench row, workbench discs. So. Well I was thinking and crunching. And it's funny, the icon for DF1 is vanishing. And then coming back occasionally. Going away. By the way, I always did like having two floppies in here. The external floppies were fine, um, and certainly I made use of them at times, especially with the Amiga 1000, because of course that was the only thing you had to do. Boy. It sounds like it's eating them. But anyway, I did like the DF0 and the DF1. Right there, easy to copy. Easy to disk swap if you needed to. Not a DOS disk in DF0. Okay, cancel, cancel, oh, we're going to get into one of these things, it's just going to keep saying it over and over, so I'm going to pop it out, there's no disc in there, don't tell me it's not a DOS disc. Here's another disc. Oh, well. Okay, DF1 has vanished. I'm going to put another disc in there. And I think it came with all these varying things. Oh boy, it sounds ugly. Whatever it's doing, it's seeming to be having tremendous difficulties. Does this mean? Oh, not a dose disc. 
this does not. One thing, of course, I remember about Mega, you never take a disc out when the light is on. I'm thinking maybe, mind you, I don't know anything about these discs. I would like the light to go out. I'm going to put my finger on the button. And as soon as I see the light actually go out for an staying period, there, I'm going to pop it out. I know. It's not a DOS disc, but there's no disc there. Maybe I should pop this other... Oh, it's still trying to read. Do you get it? Zero. There's no disc there. I'm going to take out DS1. And yes, guess what? It's not a DOS disc. I know. There's no disc there. Not a one. But it's still trying. Well, that is exciting. Okay, okay. I don't understand why it is trying, but it is. I wish I had a CD handy to pop it into this drive to see if it would play. That would be cool. But, okay. The main reason I'm here is to look. So hoping that it is not here. Oh. So hoping. The heads on these screws are worn some. Okay, so. Ribbon cable to the hard drive. Oh, that's hot. Warm, not hot. It's kind of in the way of this accelerator. Oh. But I'd like to think that there's enough room for me to wiggle it out without having to do anything drastic. I have good news. Best as I can tell. There's no battery! Woohoo! So I don't have to worry about that. I would like to be able to get this card out to have a look at it. Without damaging anything. Okay, so, here you go. So this is the same accelerator card. 1989. Oh, yeah. Commodore Amiga, Inc. This is the same as the other, except... I'm not sure you can see that. I'm not sure I can see that. Over, just around my chin, or just over. There's all the RAM chips, they're all there. So it's fully populated, and it definitely looks like from the back, which you probably can't see, which I, that it was not, it did not come from the factory fully populated, and then it was added to. So cool. Anyway, the main thing is, there is no battery to deal with. So I do not need to worry. This does seem to be a rather up-to-date machine. I don't know 
I should know the latest sort of kickstart workbench stuff. I don't. It is too bad that this ribbon cable is being... I think they would have made it just a little bit longer. Knowing but if there is an accelerator, as most people who are serious seem to get, oh come on, so there's lots of room to maneuver. Mind you, I guess this hard drive thing could be one slot over, which would put it a little closer. nice these machines, but uh, I think I'm lined up again. Okay, there we go. Let's see what else is in the way. But, you know, when you do start loading them up, oh, that's the, the floppy cables are in the way. Anyway, when you do start loading them up, there will inevitably be conflict, but this is good. We have a hard drive that is working, and it seems to be on a 2090 or a 2091 card, so that is good if I am able. I'm going to put these screws back in to the accelerator card. do like to jump around a bit. And not line up very well. Anyway, this is good. It works. And quite wonderfully. Um, the battery is not there, so I do not need to worry about the damage to the board. Now, the floppy drives seem to be a little challenged. But, you know, Maybe they had a hard life. Maybe. I think what I'm going to do is let this do its thing. See that it powers up again. Maybe I'm going to look for a CD, see if that thing actually works. That would be cool. Just think the thousands of dollars way back when spent. So that maybe today, I can play a CD. Well, is it okay, it is going to drive zero. Hard drive things are happening. So, I think it is firing up. So, for this moment, I think I will leave you. And we'll see what else we can find. Thank you. Um, I have high hopes for this CD-ROM. Bye, for now.